Hey guys and welcome back to another division video. Now for this video, let's talk about a status effect build. Now I just recently got Vile, but I was running this similar setup here, except that I was using Ninja Bike as the exotic for the build. I, but I think if you want to go for pure damage, Vile is best in slot. All right. For the specialization, we have like a couple of options. Right now I'm running Firewall because it gives us 20% more burn duration. Because I'm using burn as the status effect with Sticky Bomb. But I guess the other important thing would be putting 15% increased rifle damage and 15% increased shotgun damage because we are using Scorpio. The rest of the passives here doesn't do much. Now another thing that or another specialization that you would probably want to take would be survivalist. Because of this talent or passive here at the bottom, which it gives us group members get 10% bonus damage to targets with status effects. And since we are dealing a bunch of status effects to the enemies, our entire group gets a 10% bonus. So you might consider picking this one as well next up for our main weapon I'm using everlasting gaze it is a named item it has this talent perfect perpetuation headshots grant 50% status effect damage and duration to the next status effect you apply now the perfect version has a lower cooldown of 16 seconds compared to the normal version which is 20 seconds now if you want to run a different gun feel free to do it this is just my suggestion you know i like running named items in my builds it doesn't really mean it's meta or strong i just want to use these items because developers did it okay so let's go to the mods for everlasting place now since we're not really a weapon damage build i decided to put more emphasis on just hitting enemies with headshots so we could activate this talent here which is perfect perpetuation so the mods that I used were Accuracy 10%, 10% Stability, 10% Accuracy, and lastly, plus 10 rounds. For our second weapon, I'm running Scorpio. Now this weapon is really good. It has Septic Shock. Shooting targets applies stacks of venom which last for 10 seconds. Increasing stack adds more severe debuffs to the target. First poison, 3 disorient, 6 shock, 7 target takes additional 20% damage from all sources, stacks no longer increase. Alright, so a really good shotgun, you just farm countdown and set your target loot to shotgun and hopefully you get this one. You could use this on different builds, really good. Now for the sidearm, I'm using any handgun would do. I would just suggest that put perpetuation on the talent, right? Here, the cooldown is 20 seconds. Now, for the mask, we are using the exotic item Vile. Now, you could farm this item on Countdown or Summit, opening exotic caches. Just set your target loot to mask and hopefully you get this item. It's pretty strong. It rolls in the core attribute of skill tier. The attributes are status effects, hazard protection, and skill haste. I put skill haste there as the mod. Talent is Toxic Delivery. Status effects also apply a damage over time debuff for 10 seconds. Total damage dealt is equal to 50% of your concussion grenade damage and increased by your status effect attributes. That is why it's really important to get a bunch of status effect stats or attribute throughout all of our gears, right? Next up is the chest piece. That is the reason why I wanted the other one maybe in the future i would get a different version of this you know all of these stats are lined up because this one gives us 10 percent status effects but again it's it's hard to get just because you need so many rolls to line up in order for you to uh, have that perfect glass cannon version right right now i'm using wyvern wear it does skill damage it also affects our skills uh, the stats or attributes that you want for this one would be not skill haste, but skill damage, ideally. But I don't have that kind of gear. What I have here is skill haste, status effects, 
and I just put in a skill haste mod. For the talent, we have like glass cannon. All damage you deal is amplified by 25%. All damage you take is amplified by 50%. Now this is really nice if we want to just melt enemies. Now if you're concerned about your survivability, we do have a bunch of uh, ways to crowd control enemies. We have our shotgun, we have our blind, your riot foam if you're using that one. When you inflict burn damage or fire, uh, they get like staggered, they just run around. Kind of like the same effect as blind, they can't really attack you. So in terms of like survivability, if you're running with teammates, it, it's even better. Okay, so next up, let's go to the next item here, which is the holster. Now I'm using four piece Eclipse protocol for this build. Two pieces of this gear set gives you 15% status effects. Three pieces gives you skill haste and hazard protection. Four pieces gives you this talent, which is indirect transmission. Your status effects now spread to spread on to kill all enemies within 10 meters and refresh 50% of the duration. Now for the stats, you want plus one skill tier and the attribute is 10% status effects. For the backpack, I'm also using Eclipse Protocol. Core attribute is skill tier. The attributes are status effects and skill haste. I put a skill haste mod there. The talent is Symptom Aggravator, amplifies all damage you deal to status affected targets by 30%. And since we're dealing a bunch of blind and burn, this is pretty much active all the time. Next up is the gloves, still Eclipse Protocol, core attribute of skill tier, the attribute is status effects 10%. Very easy to get, just farm countdown. Lastly, we have the uh, knee pads. Again, core attribute of skill tier and attribute of status effects. All right. Next are the skills. Now, again, it's up to you what skills you want. Right now, I'm running Firefly Blinder. It blinds enemies. The mods that I put here is Skill Haste, Blind Effect Duration, and plus one target. For my other skill is Sticky Bomb. This is the version that burns enemies. For the mods that I put here, it's Burn Duration 5%, 7.5 Duration. Okay, so here we are at the shooting range. I disabled Skill Haste. And let's go here. The first thing that you want to do in these type of... Um, build is doing a headshot because we activate perfect perpetuation which gives us 50% more status effect damage and duration so right now there is no buff I will zoom in you can see it there there's no buff as soon as I do a headshot there you go you can see that icon there there is no expiration on this buff so feel free to take your time make sure that you could hit your for example your sticky bomb which inflicts burn all right there you go that deals 50 percent more damage the damage of the burn right now is 558,000 per tick all right so that does it for our main weapon next up is scorpio which is a exotic shotgun it has the talent septic shock basically just shoot enemies and they get a bunch of status effects we have poison disorient shock and a debuff that enemies that are affected take 20 percent more damage now let me just demonstrate here that you know you can see it here there's a bunch of icons on the enemies some disorient the blue one is shock the flask looking icon with an x is poison all right that should do it next up toxic delivery the talent that we get from vile the exotic mask now i will zoom in you can see that icon there every time we inflict a status effect on enemies we see that icon and that means that that enemy is taking damage over time or dot uh, right now to demonstrate how much damage it does without any buffs i would zoom in you can't see the uh 
perfect perpetuation buff i would just inflict blind on this enemy and you can see here we are dealing 99,849 damage per tick all right now the duration is a bit long even though there's it's not really buffed yet if we buff our shots with or if i buff my status effects with perfect perpetuation i will do a headshot you can see it there all right so right now i am buffed with perfect perpetuation i did a headshot with my rifle i will inflict blind on this target dummy again and the damage right now you can see it i would zoom in it's 128,000 compared to the 99,000 that we were doing earlier now one thing to note that there is a cooldown on perfect perpetuation you can see it there it's a uh, gray grayed out now that means it can't get the buff uh, while that icon is there all right now for this you know what i do is i use blind first all right and i do a headshot once they're blinded and then i inflict um the burn damage the sticky bomb and everyone gets burned all right that's like how i play the build on solo uh, make sure that the enemy is blinded first before doing that sticky bomb because once they're blinded they kind of stay in place for a few seconds and then you could easily hit them with a sticky bomb and burn everyone Anyways guys, that is it. I think this is one of the strongest builds in the game. Now, maybe for the chest piece and the backpack, there are different other combinations. I did a version before that is using Ninja Bike instead of Vial because I didn't have Vial. It was also working like this, except that it was dealing a, let, a, a lot less damage, I guess. But I did have more armor because of, you know, other gear pieces but in terms of like strength this build is so strong and you could put this build on diablo 4 diablo 3 diablo 2 i don't know maybe destiny put it there path of exile and you know just use this gear set and you would kill enemies everyone gets killed everyone gets cc'd for like five years and uh, it's really good it's really fun to use this build but there i guess there are enemies that are immune to uh, blind and burn now right now i'm using i am enjoying um using firefly and sticky bomb but i do see a lot of players using riot foam now i haven't really tried that yet um but i guess that functions pretty much the same as blinder maybe there is a reason why people are using that let me know down in the comments why riot foam is superior why is uh no one is using firefly i just like firefly because you know it's a little gadget that you could throw it flies and um maybe there are combinations of skills with riot foam that is really overpowered uh, maybe hive maybe the turret the fire turret and riot foam maybe uh, seeker mines i'm not sure i will test it in the future you know i switch builds in and out every now and then just to keep my things fresh i don't want to get burned out using the same strongest build over and over again because um you know i want to have fun i want to use different guns even though that it's the same thing we're just pointing and shooting you know pointing and shooting while we're waiting for the new game uh, resurgence is that the mobile game i think it is right also diablo 4 it's around the corner I like making builds. I, I play Magic the Gathering. You know, I build decks. That's my thing. I, I enjoy that. I will play. I will be playing Diablo 4 when it comes out. I'm not quitting Division. You know, I'm just waiting for these new games. Uh, Heartland, which is... Uh, I have no idea. How could you make builds there? Because that's a survival game, right? Like PUBG. I'm not sure. We'll see. Um haven't really watched uh, spoilers or leaks or news about it all i know that that game is a survival game uh, but yeah that's it you know guys uh let me know down in the comments what are your thoughts about you know what skill combinations you have in mind have you used this build what chess piece should i use i was thinking of like putting the trauma one where you could put when you shoot an enemy in the chest they bleed 
if it's in the head they get blinded you know maybe with vile i could an eclipse protocol i could do something with that i am not sure yet i have to test it out but yeah let me know and i'll see you guys on the next one thanks for watching